What's going on YouTube? It's me, Johnny8242 here. Uh, hopefully the audio is not messed up on this. Uh, trying to make a video last week when I got these, some of these, I didn't get all these cards in then, but I got most of them and uh, it wouldn't let me do it. It kept giving me a mouse voice, which is kind of weird. So uh, real quick, I'm going to try to do this. I'm watching Raw, about to flip over to the uh, to the uh, Braves game. I actually was at Raw last week. It was in Greenville, which is an awesome, always fun with my friend Andrew. It was really fun. Um, but uh, mm. I was trying to keep up with it a little bit. But uh, Braves game uh, against the Rockies will be really good. Anyways, enough of me blabbing on. Let's go. Um, some inserts real quick. Lesnar, Mir, Collision Course, whatever. Tony, J Phony James Tony versus Randy Couture of 88. Onyx out of 88. Dan Hardy, Demetrius, Mighty Mouse Johnson. Uh, Mark Hominick, who's actually uh, going to be on Cardboard Combat doing our fantasy picks, which is really cool. And uh, Frank Mir, Nelson, uh, Short Print. Uh, I don't, um, no, those are too spectacular. Um, I got these. I don't know if I mentioned it. Sorry if I mentioned it already. But Fight Hobby, John, great guy. He gave, a lot of these were giveaways. Some of these were in breaks. Um, so he's awesome. Um, I'm gonna go through these. Jens Pulver, UFC 63 mat. It's got a ton of wear. That's awesome. And uh, I believe, don't quote me. I think that has to be around the time he fought um, Joe Lozon and got beat, which was a big upset. Um, Chuck Liddell, out of uh, no, these aren't numbered, but the two-color Matt Relic, really cool. Both those really nice cards for Matt Relics. They look really nice. Um, Frank Mir, gold, uh, round one. That's my first ever round one card, believe it or not. And uh, It's a video capture, I believe, and it looks kind of shitty. But uh, there's Frank Mir in all his glory. He had a pretty rough fight the other night, but uh, one of my favorites. Um, Chris Lieben, I'm pretty sure this is from a break. I'm positive. Uh, Relic. And this one's really cool, too. Uh, Anderson Silva is such a clean card, and it just looks really nice. Oh, sorry. Um, don't want to touch it. It just looks so shiny. It's clean, too. Really cool piece. Anderson Silva. Mark Goldberg. Oh, I don't want to say Mike Goldberg. Uh, I thought it was a unique card. You don't see a lot of the uh, announcer relics. And rightfully so. I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't want to get that card normally, but um, Chris Levin. Uh, Vanderlei Silva. Two guys I like a lot. That's a cool card. Matt Hughes Relic, one of my least favorite fighters of all time. Stefan Struve Relic, which to the PC. I think the first Stefan Struve I've ever pulled, or one of the few that I've ever pulled. I already had that, but I'll add it to the collection anyway. Um, let's see. George St. Pierre Relic, which is pretty boring, just like his fights. Ooh, 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 burn. Um... Yeah, that was kind of corny, but I thought I'd just put that in there. Anyway, any chance I can take the Bash GSP, I will. Um, well, um, Evan Dunham, Contender's Autograph. Probably one of the worst autographs as far as... Evan Dunham's a good fighter, but I'm saying his autograph's pretty bad. It's just E, D, and then the UH, I believe. Um, Brian Stan. I actually have a lot of his autographs now. Uh, that's probably for trade, if anyone's interested. A... Uh, Louis Gadno, I actually had the same card already, but I'll, I'm, a, I'm a fan of him, so I'll take a double for sure. Um, CB Dolly autograph. Did not have a CB Dolly autograph on a card, so I was really happy. Have him on a poster, but not a card. Um, Sam Stout, I think that's my first stand. Uh, Sam Hands of Stone Stout, uh, tongue tied today for some reason. Autograph relic out of uh, 284. So that's not. I think I don't think you have him on anything. So that's pretty cool. And a four Griffin ruby, which uh, definitely maybe for trade for a ruby of equal value. I'm not a huge Forrest fan, to be honest with you. But uh, and then this mail I got recently. I got a trade with uh, AJ. He gave me he threw in this Dan Hornbuckle autograph, which I'm probably one of the few people on YouTube who would be uh, pretty excited about that. So I thought it was cool. It's so blurry. Why is it so fucking blurry? Sorry. I'm just curious. I just realized how blurry it was. Frankie Edgar is the big card. I traded my Dan Miller uh, Tell the Tape. This is one out of eight. Frankie Edgar Ruby. Tool color. I love Frankie Edgar. Huge fan of Frankie Edgar. So I was happy to get that. And my favorite card probably. Or I have two more cards. I have Disney in the Mail today. This Junior Dos Santos uh, Autograph out of 50, not bad. Got tops finally sent these out, or got them fulfilled and sent them out, so that was pretty cool. I think I have two or three autographs of him, and uh, so I have him on the uh, UFC old Fox poster too. And uh, the one I really like, I got this from Diego. Um, 
his name like D M O R E S G A. Uh, I think that's his name. I can't remember. Uh, there's something like that. I just never took the time to actually decipher what it meant. His username on Fight Hobby and some other sites. But he's a really cool guy. Um, worked out a deal on eBay for this. Damian Maya. That is so sick. If you're familiar with the old school UFC logo, that is it right there. Ultimate. And it's a champion. It's the one with the guy holding the world up. But Damian Maya, my first card autograph of Damian Maya, so I was super static. One of my favorite fighters. 18 out of 25. I'm sure it's going to be blurry. But uh, either way, um, appreciate you watching. Um, check out fighthobby.com. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, tallest or Q. Um, check out cardboardcombat.com. Yeah, combat cardboard. What am I saying? Yeah, one of those. I don't know. I don't really remember. Um, anyways, that's about it, guys. Take it easy, and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.